What is up YouTube? Sheffer here, back for another video. And for today, we will be doing an unboxing and in-depth review of the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3 South Beach. Let's go! Have you ever felt Are you listening? Before we begin, and if you're new to the channel, click the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our new content or our giveaways. To those who are new here, welcome. This is a channel where we talk about sneakers and tech, and let me just remind you that we have an ongoing giveaway. We are giving away an Honor Band 5 courtesy of our sponsor for today's video. Tech Room. Tech Room is a one-stop shop for all our gadget needs at a very affordable price. Please check out their shops over at Shopee and Lazada to be updated on their best deals. Details to the giveaway can be found in the description down below. So what we have here is the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3 South Beach. Habano. This is actually a personal pair of mine that I actually already had in storage but for somewhat reason, I kind of forgot about it. So before we unbox that, let me just give you a brief background of the Nike Air Vapor Max Line It 3 South Beach. Can we just call it Vapor Max South Beach? So it was actually released October 2019, so it was already that long. So one of the reasons why I got the Vapor Max South Beach was I saw this one online over at the Nike shop, and then from 9,500, it was down to 7,419 pesos. That day as well, they had a 25% discount day. I was able to snag this pair for only 5,564 pesos. And if you're actually interested in getting the pair, so if I remember correctly as well, I think it's going for around around 7,400 pesos. My best suggestion is actually to snag it when there's an additional discount available. But I was able to find this one particularly in the Nike outlet over at Hacienda. So here's the box. It has the typical Nike Vapor Max box with the Vapor Max shown right here. And I actually got this one in my true to size, which is size 10. And since I actually got this one online, so this was shipped from the Nike SG, since Nike Singapore actually caters for online orders for the Philippines. So we also have the SG tag right here. And without further ado, let's open this baby up. So right here, we have the typical tissue for the Nike Vapor Max. So it's this one right here. So one reason as well why I got this particular silhouette was because I was actually a fan of the Jordan 1 Mid-South Beach and the Nike Air Max 97 South Beach. Unfortunately, I wasn't actually able to grab a pair of that since when it was released, it was kind of a hype. So it was kind of a hit or miss if I wanted to grab that pair. And I actually tried resellers, but I didn't want risking if it's really authentic or not. So here's the overall look of the Nike Vapor Max. So right in front, we can see here the Flyknit material. We also have here the black swoosh logo on both sides. So in the particular colorway that the South Beach does it, it's mostly turquoise with a little bit of, as they call it, blast pink. At the back, we can also see here the Vapor Max name. And for the tongue tab, we have this pinkish gold tongue tab right here. So for the insole, we have here the usual Vapor Max insole, which is in the pink blast colorway. So this is the first time that I've noticed this one, that the size tag is inside the insole and not in the shoes itself. And since this is a Vapor Max, we can see here at the bottom the very big air bubble which in my opinion, when I used this pair, this was practically really comfortable in terms of the overall feel when you're using it. And since they're advertising the Vapor Max basically as a running pair. And truth be told, whenever you're wearing a Vapor Max, it actually gives you a little bit of confident boost. Since the overall height of the air bubble is a little bit around one to one and a half inch. If you're that kind of person like me who's, I mean, I have to be honest, I'm only five, four and a half. This gives me a little bit of a person who is 5'6". <laughs> nice. And this is what it looks like from underneath. So apologies in advance since I actually tried to wear this pair already. And I can already vouch that in terms of comfort for this one, pretty actually comfortable when you use it. Um, I guess it's just a little bit loud in terms of the silhouette. I would highly advise you wearing this one. I don't know if you want to wear it with jeans and at the same time, just a white top or something lighter. That's my personal go-to whenever I'm wearing this Vapor Max outside. And from an overall perspective, since this is Flyknit, you won't have issues in terms 
terms of getting it true to size. Personally, I'm wearing this one true to size with the regular socks that I normally wear. So on an overall, this is actually a good pair if you really want comfort and at the same time, really loud design. And to put it also on another note, this is a pretty light sneaker. So for those people who will be using this one for running, you can. For people who will be using this one for lifestyle, you can rock this one as well. So in my final thoughts, would I recommend you grabbing a pair of the Vapor Max South Peach? It depends. If you're going to grab this one for SRP for 9,500 pesos, no. If you're going to grab this one for a discounted price, I would personally say that I would be comfortable in paying for around 5,500 pesos on this pair or lower. I took this more of as a personal purchase rather than something that I could resell. So mostly this pair would be stocked in my collection. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you like my quick review of the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3 South Beach. Ang haba. <laughs> And let me know your thoughts if you're going to grab this pair at the comment section below. So thank you for watching guys and then I'll see you on the next one. Peace out!